the different uh, areas of town. That was something that folks took a big pride in. We all did, of course, in high school, the rivalries between the different communities and, and the sections of Gary where you lived was huge. To, to describe the, the rivalries, it's just something that you, it was inbred. You, you knew it. You heard the stories of the generations before you. Most of us had older brothers and sisters that carried it on to us, and, and, and that it, same thing had happened to them. Etna was looked upon as the uh, doormat. We were, for lack of better words, the kids from the other side of the track. And a lot of us, it reflected in our personalities, and I can be quite honestly tell you that a lot of us had a chip on our shoulder because of it. Uh, we weren't as affluent or successful as the folks on the other side of the tracks in Miller. Again, we were, we shared this Etna and Miller in the Glen Ryan section, which is the eastern section of uh, sectors of Gary. Well, the kids that were, grew up in Glen Ryan were kind of the, in the middle, and then there was us. You have to understand that back in the day, Miller was a very affluent community with an extreme amount of uh, successful people. A lot of your Jewish merchants were Miller residents that lived uh, in Miller and uh, had businesses in Gary. So for us growing up in Aetna, we always felt inferior to the people in Miller and uh, found at times it was time hard to fit in as well. I mean, you can still to this day run into folks if you're in a restaurant in Gary and Miller where we grew up and you know, the first thing that in the back of your mind, you may not say it now, but the first thing in the back of your mind is you remember that was the guy that was from Miller, not Aetna. And there was a special bond for us from Aetna because we felt like we were in a war against the rest, uh, especially when it came to the kids we interacted with in Miller. I, I remember having several uh, experiences. I had a, uh, an experience once in high school that uh, I always remember uh we had had football practice, and then a friend of mine had given me a ride home, and one of our friends that was on the team with us that uh, came from a pretty affluent family and lived in Miller. We had a family had a beach home, and a uh, great kid, but apparently he never knew we were from the other side of the tracks because when he found out we were from Etna, he never spoke to us again. I remember getting dropped off in front of my house, and he was with the, my buddy that dropped us off, and he said, well, who lives here? Because we just lived in the average two bedroom wood structure homes and nothing fancy but we had a it was a wonderful place and uh so yes we we always being from Etna we always had a chip on our shoulder that we were from the wrong side of the tracks <laughs>